said it's a new generation of players when they when, when he's shooting from 30 plus. That was in regards to his shooting, but is there a new generation of player that you kind of are learning with in regards to his handle and passing? Well, I think you always have to understand um, and accept who you draft. You know what I mean? And uh, the story I can give you is uh, Philadelphia drafted a young player out of Georgetown many years ago. Uh, and he was in his rookie summer league. And uh, he was shooting the ball, wasn't getting his players involved. And the head coach told the head coach of the summer league team, said, hey, you got to talk to Allen Iverson about getting his teammates involved. And he said, that's not what I do. You must not have watched me in college. Well, this is, this is how Bones plays. So I'm not going to take a player and try to make him into John Stockton when he's not John Stockton. You know, that's what I did with Isaiah Thomas in Sacramento. I knew that he was a scorer. He was a prolific scorer in high school and college, and IT proved to be a scorer. So tonight was a hell of a performance from Bones, not just scoring. Seven assists, one turnover, got on the glass, and made some spectacular highlight-type plays. But it wasn't – what I liked most about it, Mike, was it wasn't just a Bones show. He got everybody else involved. And him and DeAndre, the more they play together, the more chemistry they're building in that pick-and-roll combo. Uh, that could be really effective. That's one of the reasons we brought DeAndre, is because we just wanted somebody that could be on the rim, a rim threat. So uh, I'm really happy for Bones. The last week has been tough for him, dealing with the injuries in and out of the lineup. And uh, he went out there and, and hooped tonight. So it was, uh, it was a hell of a win for us. Any other reasons why it's, it was difficult last year? You didn't have a lot of these last season, where you're just able to get a standard NBA comfortable win, team in a bad spot, third and four, back to back. You guys play great. Is it a relief to realize that you have the squad, at least for right now, that you can get through the NBA regular season with games like this? Well, I'll be honest, um, Matt, I, I, don't, I don't know if we've got anything figured out. Like, tonight was a hell of a win. But the next time we're in this situation, I hope that will be the same type of a team. But um, I think that that's, has yet to be proven. Um, yeah, we took advantage. We knew they played last night. Uh, we knew that we had a... Uh, a tired team coming in. We know they're going to be much better in their place in two days when we return uh, the game. Um, but we got off to a great start. Um, the bench came in and played well. There was no drop off. Called a quick timeout in that third quarter. They started 6 2, all in the paint, a few turnovers. Hey, don't worry about the scoreboard. It's about us building habits. And I felt after that quick timeout in the third, we went on another big run, kind of. You know, uh, got back to playing the way we did to build our lead. So, but I do like the fact that we've added some veterans, KCP, Bruce, DeAndre. Um, we have some young players that are maturing, and we have Jamal and Michael back. I mean, so we're a different team than last year. I mean, just across the board. And, uh, you know, uh, we'll, we'll definitely welcome nights like tonight, but, um, you know, you never know how many you're going to have. Michael, what do you think of just the, the confidence and, and even the swagger that your group played with tonight? I mean, obviously Bones, but even Nicola, Jamal, it seemed like they just had an edge to them tonight. Yeah, and uh, the best part about it is uh, I think it was um, evident in our assist total. 37 assists. Now, the turnovers were still too much. 37 assists, 18 turnovers, but um, we were making some highlight types of plays that led to plays for teammates. You know, I mean, Nicola dropping it behind the through the legs pass to Michael trailing. Um, it was just as long as we're playing together and not just playing with each other, but playing for each other. Um, you know, I'm not 1952 CYO coach and you got to bounce pass, thumbs down. No, play, play the game, man. Play the game. And, um, you know, we have a, a very unselfish team and, and we did some good things tonight. And um, I'm just happy that we're, we're playing well at home. Last year, we were not a good home team. It's early in the season, but we're 4-0. Uh, and, the, and the thing that really jumps out is in the wins at home, our defense is, has been really good. Our rebounding has been great. And uh, now we just have to find a way to, especially now we go on a four-game road trip, to kind of get, get to playing like that on the road as well. Coach, Jamal had nine assists, one, or sorry, yeah, nine assists, one turnover tonight. Does it feel like he's catching up to the speed of the game again? It felt like tonight might have been a turning point for him to kind of realize that he can operate at the speed again. Yeah, and I think if you go back to the first quarter, you know, um, one thing we talked about this summer, you know, he's a really good low post player. And uh, we just felt that we could, you know, put him down there. And we ran the same play probably the first six minutes of the game. And we found a lot of offense from that, not just Jamal scoring, 
But then he started commanding a double team, and he's making the right play out of the double team. Um, so, yeah, for him to have nine, only one turnover, bone staff seven, only one turnover, that's your two point guards. That's excellent. That's valuing the ball at a high level. And um, 60 in the paint, 26 fast break points, and, again, a plus 19 rebounding margin. So a lot of positives tonight. Michael, I know you're not a 1952 CYO coach, but what does a text message from your dad look like after tonight? Um, he's going to, like when I was in high school, uh, even if we won and I played well, it was everything I didn't do right. So, hey, Dad, I know you're looking. I know I know it's coming. Uh, but that's what keeps me sharp and helps me. You know, um, and he's always going to speak the truth and, and let me know the things that we didn't do up to the standards that we need to do them. Uh, and that's why I love him. Mike, on a night like tonight, uh, defense may not necessarily get as much shine, but KCP tonight, four steals played some professional defense out there. Has he helped elevate just the overall professionalism of the team on that end? Oh, no doubt. No, he was defensive player of the game. Um, I, I felt, you know, him just getting into people, blowing things up. Um, you know, like we, when we had Gary Harris, uh, you know, we, we gave Gary Harris the license. And Bruce and KCP have the same license where if Doug McDermott's a great shooter and we tell our guys, hey, you got to stay connected, you can't take a body off him. But you give a guy like KCP, you know, you got a license to blow it up. You got a license to gap at the point. You go, go out there and wreak havoc. And, and KCP, the way he's shooting, the way he carries himself, his work ethic, um, you know, he's just been a, a tremendous addition for us uh, in so many ways. Four steals tonight, as you mentioned, 12 points, two or three from three. Just a real solid player and um, thrilled that he's here. Michael. Um at shoot around today, MPJ said he, when he's playing with that second unit, he, he plays a little bit more aggressively. Are you encouraging that approach? And I guess, what are your thoughts on the early, early returns of that kind of staggering going on? Yeah, I, I think it's, uh, it's important for us to try to have one of our starters in there at all times. Um, you know, we've tried to go the, 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 the five-man platoon unit. That's hard. You know I mean, it's hard. Um, so getting Michael out early to close with him and then to open the next quarter with him uh, allows us to feature him a little bit more. And that first unit, you got a lot of weapons out there. Uh, but the best thing about it is the ball flies. You know, we don't call plays for a lot of guys, but they get shots because of how we play. So with that, you know, getting them out to close the first and third and to start the second and fourth with that bench unit, now you have two scorers in Bones and Michael. You got two professional bigs in Jeff and DeAndre. And then, you know, depending on who else is out there, is it Bruce, is it Christian? Um, you know, I guess, you know, I thought it was Christian had some good minutes tonight. His numbers may not look great, but... He went out there and looked very comfortable and was aggressive. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, Coach.